George Knight left his family concerned when he disappeared after some bad news in recent EastEnders scenes, but his return didn't do much to settle their nerves. The pub landlord recently learned that his biological mother had died just four months ago after receiving a visit from one of her friends. After learning that his adopted dad Eddie had murdered his biological father, George started trying to find the rest of his birth family, so the news that his mother had died obviously hit him hard. Following the revelation, George left the pub, and still hadn't returned the next morning, much to the horror of Elaine Peacock and his daughters, Anna and Gina Knight. George's family were determined to find him, and asked everyone they could think of if they had seen him, including George's ex-wife Cindy Beale and his business partner Phil Mitchell. Though Phil informed Gina that he hadn't seen him, it soon became clear that he was covering for George, who later thanked him for not giving away where he was. Phil revealed that he didn't mind picking him up from the middle of nowhere, but wasn't a fan of lying to Gina, and tried to find out exactly what had happened, though George remained tight-lipped. As George walked in on the conversation, he assured them that he hadn't done, though the bloody bandage wrapped around his knuckles didn't escape their notice. After revealing to his family that he had two brothers, he explained that he didn't want to find them, as he had all the family he needed in the Queen Vic.